Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be talking to you about Microsoft's to-do app. So when you download the app from the App Store, um, it will come as this Microsoft to-do app. All it just says is to-do. It doesn't have Microsoft's branding or anything on it. They keep it very clean. That's one positive of this app. Uh, when you open it, uh, it will open to this home screen. It has my day at the top, the date, and uh, when you add items to your list of to-do, it will show here on your screen. So I could say here, make, oops, make a video. And I'll add that to my list, and there you go. Now it's on my day, and if I don't complete it to, by the end of the day, if I don't check mark it here, then it will add to my to-do, which is um, your big list. Uh, so everything will go here. Uh, old thing, uh, like uh, let's say you don't complete um, something that you uh, created two days ago. Uh, it won't be under my day here, but it'll be under to-do. Um, now, another thing you'll notice on the home screen here is uh, this little light bulb right here. And these are suggestions. Um, so when you create... Uh, so when you create new items uh, for to-do um, and you don't complete them, it will also add up here to my suggestions. or it will add things from your other lists that you can create here. Now under new list, um, basically you can create uh, an organized folder for uh, other things that you have to do um, that you don't want to be just under my day. Say it's a long-term project and there's a bunch of things you have to do. So let's say project. So now that we're in project, our list of to-dos, um, we can add things here that will be like, they can be anything. And instead of adding to my day here, you'll have to come here under your list of project and you'll see them here. Now if you come back under suggestions, you'll see here hi and hey show up from a uh, project, the project list. And these are suggested to you for maybe, oh, this is something you want to do today. Now, if you want to delete something, uh, all you do is swipe to the left and it will delete it. And if you want to add something to my day, let's say from our project list, we just swipe to the right and it will add it to my day and we can delete this. And now under here you'll see, oh, there's hi. And we can say we did it. Now here's the thing. When you check mark something, it will not eventually delete itself. You'll have to come back and swipe to the left and delete it. So until then, that to do will still be there. It'll be check marked as done, but it won't be gone. So, for each item on your to-do list, you can actually access each one and have it either remind you or uh, add a due date or you can add a note. Now you can actually add, do both, a uh, reminder, let's say later today, and then you can add a due date for tomorrow. Um, and you can repeat it as many times as you want. Uh, um, depending on how often you want it to remind you that it will be due. And let's say we want to add a note and say make make it good. Save that. And there you go. Now down here you can also download it and see when you created it. Now to access the settings of this application, 
swipe to the right and click on the image and you will have to log in with your Microsoft account and uh, if you want you can have it ask you if you really want to delete uh, an item before you delete it you can turn on completion sound for uh, when you check mark an item it will play a little jingle and you can also have a little notification so that you can quickly add items to your to-do lists. You can also import to-dos from other uh, listing applications like Wonderlust and To-Do List. And down here you can just our other contact informations and signing out and such. Now I only actually have two complaints about this application. One. Microsoft doesn't really provide that many software updates for the application. Uh, the only recent updates that they've had are emoji fixes or slight color changes. I wish they could add more functionality to the actual application itself. And another thing that leads to is how slow the application loads. For example, if you notice here, if I have the application closed, there's a slight lag. Now these problems aren't actually that all big of a deal because this application is a very straightforward to-do list app. Anyways, that's it for this video. I hope you guys liked it and I hope it helped you out. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.